Hey guys, Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. I uh, apologize for a little bit of funky camera angle here. I, uh, I left my big camera at the lake. We ran back to Dallas for a couple days. We'll be back down on Thursday. You're probably watching this on Wednesday. I'm filming this Tuesday night. So uh, before we get to the fishing, uh, a lot of conversation uh, about whether we can still fish or not. If you don't know, Angelina County posted a um, Posted, it's not exactly a stay-at-home order, but basically what it says is you should only travel if it's essential, uh, no gathering in large crowds, etc. Uh, and if you haven't seen it yet, uh, the question was posed to the Angelina County Commissioner, I believe. It's actually on YouTube if you want to go track it down. In a meeting, um, I believe that would have been Tuesday morning. And the question was bluntly from somebody, can we go fishing? And uh, fortunately, the Angelina County Commissioner said basically that we considered that you were trying to feed your family, uh, that you're going out to possibly catch fish, which of course a lot of us are crappie fishing, which I'm going to try a little bit later this week. Uh, and so they're, they're really not trying, they, they don't want to keep us off the lake. They want us to all have good mental health, I think, truthfully. Uh, if we can't work and we're all sitting around the house, we're all going to go a little bit cuckoo. So what I would say to you guys is just be smart about this. Don't have nine people in your boat. Keep social distancing. Don't do anything that would make them think, gosh, we got to quit letting these guys go fishing. So for right now, Angelina County, now I don't know about the south end of the lake because I believe the south end of the lake is a different county. But right now for Angelina County, we can go fishing. Uh, there's a, a game warden who um, lives there in the Zavala area. I saw he posted on his Facebook page earlier in the week also that as far as he knew you could go fishing. What the commissioner did say was don't go around a barricade. So if the core closes a boat ramp, which I've not heard of any of that yet, then you can go around the barricade to go launch there. So uh, you got to go to a ramp that's obviously open, but for now we can still go fishing. So uh, the lake is in really good shape. Uh, it got up to 165.35 earlier in the week. They're obviously pouring some water out of it. It's back down to about 165.15, so a little bit less than a foot high. Um, you saw my reports last week. Uh, this fishing is from over the weekend, and what you're going to see here is what a lot of guys are talking about right now, and that is just catching a ton of fish, not a lot of big fish. Now, we've got a full moon coming. Boy, that's got to be in the next week. Uh, I'll put the date right here below. But we've got a full moon coming that's going to pull some more fish up. As you guys have seen from my last two or three reports in the last week, uh, I'm catching pre- and post-spawn fish. All these fish you're about to watch me catch, and there's a bunch of them, uh, are all um, look to me to be pre-spawn fish. There was not a beat-up fish amongst them. I think they're feeding up. I think there's a shad spawn going on some spots. You're going to see this weekend, as, as I get down there, they're biting. Uh, this was the first day I really went out and threw moving baits to try to catch fish, and I caught a bunch of fish. I caught these are all smaller fish, but trust me, I'll I'll find some better fish in the next few days when I'm down there. So we're going to go down Thursday. I'll get the fish hopefully Friday, Saturday, Sunday, assuming it's not pouring down rain, and we'll get some more fishing reports up from you guys. But lots of you guys are posting your experiences, which I really appreciate, by the way, in the comments below the videos, and everybody's catching fish on moving baits. Some, buddy of mine, some buddies of mine went out Sunday and said they probably caught 50 fish on uh, basically square bills and A rigs, and they would pick up and throw a, a Senko or drag a uh, drag a Carolina rig around these fish, and simply they would not bite. They are so locked on those shop on, on those shad right now. That's what they're doing. So let's go to some fishing. This is a pretty fun day, and I you hear me talk about it in this video. It's kind of fun just to go fun fishing, and I caught a bunch of fish in here. Uh, I will point out to you. Actually, let's let's come back to that. So let's go let's go check out some fishing real quick. Swim jig, little guy. <laughs> Sided square bill. Oh, look at it. Kind of put a hook in your hand.
forceps come in so handy. I'll put a link to them below. Had a species change. Chunk, two and a quarter, maybe two and a half, probably two and a half. You know what's interesting, all these little fish are not marred up. These fish do not look like they are post-spawn fish, which is crazy. This water temperature is 78 degrees. I know most of them are little, but they're just so much fun. He has two buddies with him. They're just so much fun to catch, and I guess part of the deal right now is with no tournaments in the foreseeable future, you can quite literally just come fun fishing. Just come out and whack on them. Okay, it's hard to be mad at that smiling face coming through there. But they literally came through the hole. And there's not a hole there. I'll turn the boat. They came through the bushes from that other pocket versus going 200 yards up and going around. They came over exactly where I was in the process of catching that fish. Look, they literally came through the bushes. That is awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was awesome to bat. <laughs> and he can see me. I'm in a 21 foot bright silver boat. Oh my gosh. The kids were cute. 
in there. with me right here. Okay, so a couple of notes there on what I'm fishing with. I'm fishing with the uh, Tournament Speed Spool, uh, Tournament Pro Speed Spool Reel. It's called the LFS, which stands for Lighter, Faster, Stronger. Now, in this case, I'm throwing a much faster reel than I typically would on crankbaits. I'm throwing a 7, 5 to 1 reel. And the reason I'm doing that is, you'll see in some of those videos, those fish are busting around me. So if I make a cast, and, I, and I'm one bust and I want to get it right back over there to him. I want a fast reel. I don't want one of my slower crankbait reels. So that's what you see I'm throwing there. I'm also throwing that reel that I like that G-Clutch handle so much. This is a great price point. I may have said reel, excuse me, rod. It's only a $149 reel. This rod, is, I'm going to do it again, rod. This rod is the CMCVR3, excuse me, 2. This is the 2. And then it's MH behind that model number. So it's the custom speed stick. Yeah, it's a custom speed stick series. It's the solid black rod. It's a $149 rod. It's a seven foot six, it says medium heavy rod. It's an ideal crankbait rod. Now you guys know I love the perfect crankbait rod as well. This is a little bit more expensive rod, but I just love the way that handle feels in my hand. So that's what you see me cranking those fish. I had a spot from the day or two days before that I had seen a little tiny pocket. This pocket's not 100 yards deep, and it's right by an area I fish all the time, and truthfully, I just had never noticed it. It's kind of a weird angle where you can't see it goes in. It makes a little corner, and so I, I had remembered that spot. I had seen it. Sarah had called me, and it was time to go home one of the days I was fishing. Uh, so I, I thought, you know, before I run in, I want to make a pass through that area. And I made a pass through there, and I maybe did 15 minutes worth of flipping with a with a six cents prawn. And you see here, I catch these two nice, not too nice. I catch these two fish. I just love catching fish flipping. So. saw me react to it and when I checked him he didn't have it and I hopped it and when I hopped it that's a post spawn fish when I hopped it he bit it again it will better late than never Okay, so there you go. Again, 
Apparently the lake is open. I know there is, you can't drive in from Louisiana right now. Uh, if you come in from Louisiana, you gotta be in a 14 day quarantine. So uh, this is a serious deal, guys. Again, I talked about this in a video last week. I'm, when we were there earlier in the week, we still saw, saw people congregating and talking like this was a month ago. This is not a month ago. There are COVID-19 cases in Lufkin. There's COVID-19 cases in Nacogdoches. Let's not let this get out of hand. Be smart. Wash your hands. Keep social distance. Um, I got to tell you, nobody's fishing with me right now. I, I love fishing with guys, but I'm not putting anybody in the boat with me. You're, we're just, you're just around each other too much. And even if you're not sick, I don't know that you hadn't been exposed to it a week or two ago. Uh, and you don't know that I haven't been exposed to it. So let's just be safe. Let's be smart right now. Fish with family. Um, and, and let's not press our luck on them closing our legs on us. So not, not trying to be Debbie Downer there, but um, I love fishing and I, I want to, you know, if I can't get the work done that I need to get done, I want to be able to go fishing. So there you go, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the new subscribers. I picked up a ton of subscribers recently. I appreciate that so much. I appreciate you guys subscribing. Remember, if you subscribe and click the bell every time I post a new video, you get a notification. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll have more fishing up for you, and I think pretty good fishing here later in the week. And as this spawn comes up, I'm hoping to get to do a little sight fishing. And I got my, I pulled out my crappie jigs and laid them on the front deck. So I'm going to try to fill the freezer full of crappie, too, in the next week or two. So... I'll share that with you guys as well. Speaking of which, by the way, apparently the channel catfish are biting like crazy on Rayburn. I should have mentioned this the other day. I ran across two different boats with just ice chests full of big old beautiful blue channel cat. And every one of them are saying they're just catching them on cut shad. So if you want to go fill your freezer, this is a great time to go catch some channel cat right now. I'll try to get a little bit more information next time I run across those guys exactly where they're fishing. But apparently the catfish are biting too. So... Uh, if you don't have to work or if you're, if you're not allowed to work right now, get on the water and fish a little bit. Just, again, be smart. Keep our distance from each other. And, and we can still say hi. And uh, we'll see you guys on the lake this weekend. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>